Hi, this is Sandy from Simply Crafty SVGs, and in this video I want to show you how to preview SVG files in File Explorer in Windows 10. By default in Windows 10 you cannot preview an SVG file, it just won't preview. It'll preview as, a, as, a, as an Explorer, Windows Explorer icon, because that's the associated application. So in order to preview it, so you can see what it looks like like this, click on large icons, you can see I can see what they look like. We have to install a little, what they call the SVG Explorer extension, which has been out there for a while. It is not associated with uh, Microsoft at all. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And I went to the website already, and I'll put the website in the notes. Um, but before we uh, go ahead and install it, I want to preface that this particular little extension sometimes gets updated on a regular basis and sometimes a different developer will take over. So if the link changes, I'll try to note it uh, if I find out. I mean, sometimes I find out based on the comment. Um, but that's the reason I'm actually redoing this video because of the multiple changes to the software. So we scroll down, we have two versions. Don't worry about the source code, that's for developers. We want to worry about these top two, the x86, I mean the x86 and x64. The 64 refers to a 64-bit system, so if you have 64-bit windows, you need to install that one. If you have 32-bit, you need to install that one. So to find out which one it is, we want to go to the lower left and right click on your start button and then left click on system and then scroll down you will see a 64 bit or 32 bit so most Windows 10 operating systems these days are 64 so most likely it's 64 but you want to double check so let's close this and before we install it we're going to download it but what you will want to do to get prepped for this is to close everything else on your system because it will require a restart after you install it so let's go ahead and download the 64-bit version. So I already have it installed, so I'm not going to read. I already have it downloaded. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and re-download it. And the reason I'm doing that because I want to show you something. So um, make sure you noted where you downloaded because that's the biggest deal. So I did it in my download folder, but it also shows up at the bottom. And this will happen with a couple browsers. So this is Chrome because I use Chrome as my primary uh, uh, web browser. And you can go ahead once it installs or downloads, I should say, you can go ahead and click on it, left click on it, and you can install it right from there. Now here's another thing I want to show you. Um, Windows Defender doesn't want you to install this. They think it's dangerous software. So um, what you need to do is go ahead and click on more info and then you'll see app a gnome publisher run anyways and then you'll get these windows and this is uh, this is opening in a different place so I'm just dragging it over and you click yes and then you would see this little thing to accept the agreement you can read through all this and go next and then install Okay, again, make sure everything's closed because once it installs, you'll want to reboot. Even if it doesn't reboot for you, let it go through the install. It, it takes just a couple, like a minute or so. And then go ahead and reboot your device. So I'm going to cancel that. So when you, once you install it, right away you should be able to come in here and click on to see if you can preview your SVG files. With that said, I know that, that a few have had trouble with this and it has not worked once they installed the extension. So here's one thing to check. When you're into File Explorer, click on Options on the right, View, Options, Change Folder and Search Options. Let's go to the View tab. And then at the top here it says Always Show Icons Never Thumbnails. Make sure that's unchecked. If that's checked, uncheck it. That may be your issue and then click OK. But I'm going to just click OK out of that. One last thing, um, another one 
an issue that I've had from somebody before is that they installed Inkscape. And once you install Inkscape, um, you it takes over the SVG extension as the default application. So it may not preview uh, if if it's not if the SVG files are not associated to um, to Internet Explorer. So to reassociate an SVG, SVG file with Internet Explorer and Windows 10, you want to right click on a SVG file and choose Open With. And we can go choose another app. And if Internet Explorer was not the default, it wouldn't be at the top. You'd find it in the list below. And then you'd select it and check the box that says always use this app to open SVG files. And then you should be able to preview thumbnails. Now I want to show you another handy free software that you can utilize to browse your SVG files or and or other image files and it's called Adobe Bridge. I learned recently, I have it because I actually have an Adobe subscription for Illustrator because that's how I create my files. Um, but I didn't know it was free. All you need is to sign up for an Adobe account. So if you already have an Adobe account, you can uh, go ahead and download. Even if you don't, you click on download. And then it says create account or sign in or um, sign in with, you know, Facebook and Google. So you can go ahead and download and install that. I'm not going to go through that in detail. But it also has help. So it has its own help. I'm only going to show you a basic use and how um, I feel it's helpful. So if we go ahead, I'm going to open up this window here. So it's a little bit zoomed in because of the last time I used it. So I'm going to zoom it down. And as I change these options, you'll see a little bit more. It'll look a little bit closer to what Windows Explorer looks like. This is kind of a souped up viewer for File Explorer. So what's nice is there's a whole lot more to this, by the way. I'm just telling, showing you the basics. What I like about this is that I can change a preview, but I want thumbnails. And then what's nice is down here in the lower right hand corner, you can you can drag up the size. So you can see I can see things really big. And the other thing is uh, with a lot of us, you may not be watching this because you work with SVG cutting files, but this would be still helpful. But um, for those of us that use cutting files, a lot of time, um, the designers include a PDF file to explain a little bit more. And you can also preview that and maybe the photo of the project. So that's a nice feature. Um, and of course, you could use just regular images. It'll show other images. And here's another way that I use it. I just need to find it real quick. So let's see. I have some. Um, like different digital papers that I download. So let's just say we'll, we'll do this tropical paper set. So that's the other thing you can do is if I'm looking for a certain paper or image or something like that that I downloaded that I want to use, I can go ahead and look through that as well. So there's other features. I This is not a tutorial for Bridge. It's just another helpful application since I know it's free to download and it just requires account that some people might be interested so I wanted to include it in this video. If you found this video helpful I would appreciate a little like and if you are somebody who, who downloads my free files or purchases my SVG files I would also ask if you would subscribe but of course it's not necessary and I thank you so much for watching.